One of the most horrible experiences in the world is abandonment. And I bet if I could poll you privately here in this room, a lot of people here have been abandoned. You've had parents that abandon you. You had a husband or a wife. As you were yielding your intimacy to them, they walked out of your life. Some of you have had uh, workplaces and business dreams. Uh, you've been abandoned in them, and this abandonment thing is like a, it's huge. There's nothing quite like it. I don't know anything else that creates that. Betrayal's a big one, but abandonment's even worse because it's so contrary to the nature and heart of God. And how do you get free from abandonment? Maybe you're abandoned as kids, and you know, if you're a guy, you kind of played macho tough all your life, and you're trying to be Mr. Bad, you know what, to compensate for it. Or you're a woman, and instead of being the tender, powerful woman that God called you to be, you become the, the brusque, rough woman, assuming that you're going to be the father that abandoned you. How do you get out of abandonment? You say, get out of abandonment. I'm just going to tell you, this works. This is true. This is, this is God's heart. The only way that I can get away from abandonment is through two things. One, forgiveness, and the other is blessing. When Jesus hung on the cross, had nails in his hands and wrists and feet and all that bloody, gory stuff and stuck in his side and <coughs> had thorns stuck in his head and given sour stuff to drink, all that pain and the compression of his lungs, he couldn't get a good breath and he was being murdered, if you will. Right in the middle of all that pain, what did he say? Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. He didn't wait to feel like forgiving anybody. That's your model of forgiveness. If you're going to wait to feel like forgiving somebody, you will never, ever forgive anybody. Forgiveness has nothing to do with how we feel. Forgiveness has nothing to do with whether the person we're forgiving is ever going to repent about it. Forgiveness sets us free to move across the river. So I, I have people in my life that, that uh, have abandoned me and I, and str I struggle with the faithfulness of God in that and God says to me, now Garrus, I want you to forgive them. I had one instance, uh, it, it also is in the book, about just eight years of forgiving a leader early in the ministry that had severely wronged us. And I remember the, the day the Lord had us get down on our knees when we got the phone call of what was going on horrible stuff just discrediting us and we didn't know what to do we were hundreds of miles away and we just got down on our knees and began to worship the Lord so what are you going to do out of control just worship the Lord and the Lord says here's what I want you to do forgive him right now and I want you to start blessing him now I didn't know it was going to take eight years eight years every time I thought of the guy I blessed him even when he was still screwing with our life blessed him blessed him. Every time he came to my mind, I blessed him. I forgave him, chose to, didn't feel anything at all. It was just a painful thing to do. Every time I thought about him, eight years later, he had us over to his house for dinner. He says, Garris, uh, I need to ask you something. I said, what? He said, I need to ask you to forgive me. I said, brother, I forgave you eight years ago, and I've spent eight years blessing you. <laughs> Eight years blessing you. And I was, I mean, I was free as a butterfly. I mean, I, was, I, had, I had nothing in me. I loved him. I hugged him. And he couldn't hardly believe it. You see, if you want to get out of abandonment or anything that holds you captive, you must forgive those that have abused you and caused you to retreat into that place. And then from that point of declaring forgiveness that changes the environment of the Spirit, do you begin to speak words of blessing? Because the Lord says, Bless even those that are considered your enemy. A lot of our enemies are in the body of Christ. We just need to forgive. Because if you want out of abandonment, there's no other way out. And what happens and what begins to emerge is you begin to see in you the very heart of God. Because God forgives us and always is blessing us, even when we're doing the most knuckle-headed stuff in the world. Is this making sense to anybody?